Hey, I'm Michael with Irwin Power, and I had a customer call me frantic, wanting me to fix a lighting situation they had at a beach house. Have some renters coming in here in about an hour or two, and the lights were not working. A handyman changed some lights out and could not get them to come on after that. So I came in here, I found the panel hidden behind this painting here that I took off the wall. There were no trip breakers when I found this panel. I did turn them off and back on all the single poles that were controlling the lighting circuits. Turn them off back on just to make sure that my eyes weren't deceiving me, none of them were tripped. Pulled out the three-way switching. The lights that are not working are switched on a three-way setup. The wiring was okay. It looked like it was wired correctly. I pulled the three-way switches out one at a time and then would splice the travelers with the switch leg and hot just to bypass the switches altogether to make sure that the switches were not the issue. And I'd turn the circuit back on and the lighting would still not come on. So I went from testing my power hopping back and forth between each switch box by bypassing both switches. It's coming through like it should. So I started to pull the light fixture down. Let's see. And I found this inside the first light fixture box, which the switch light appears to hit first. The wire was completely severed and I'm hoping that fixes my issue. It's at least gonna fix one of my issues was severed and then the insulation was damaged. Kind of like what you see right here on um, this wire as well. Almost like someone drove a screw through the wiring or something trying to mount a light fixture. So what I wanted to show you real quick as I was uncovering this, not only am I finding my electrical problem, but if you see on these ground wires, all that black smut and right here on this wire nut and this wire you can kind of see that instead of nice clean black insulation you have the smut on the wire nut and on the insulation of this conductor so what that indicates to me is prior to this issue there was an issue with some arcing or shorting out inside of this box where somebody was driving a screw or something into this box or maybe the sheetrock guys and their drill you know they'll jam it into your box and kind of run the dremel around inside the box and it can tear up your wiring so wanted to show you what that can look like it's just one indicator that prior to me getting here while stuff was working before they did have some issues in the past right here so Another issue we have in this light box is that is your green bonding screw that you should be attaching your ground wires to, giving us an effective ground fault path back to the panel if we were to properly make all of our terminations in this box. But what you can do is take this ground wire here or this ground wire from the fixture, make your splices like you need to, get it wrapped around this bonding screw, tighten it down, and that's all you gotta do to make that correct. So. This is just laziness right here. Somebody trying to get in and get out.